Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Mafia Definitive Edition. I'm Meg, it's so good to see you again. Last time we did the mission, a trip to the country, and it was pretty intense. I thought that we were gonna lose Sam, um, and I don't even know if <laughs> he's still alive. I'm gonna assume so. We did get him to a doctor, but he lost a lot of blood, so I'm eager to see what the heck happens. Oh my gosh, this game is so good. I'm really enjoying just the intense story and I already care so much about these characters which makes me very nervous but let's go ahead and get started I hope you're having wonderful days 1933 oh hey boss I came as soon as I okay since it glitched we're gonna watch the cutscene and this video Jeez, that was a weird glitch. Hey, boss. I came as soon as I got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. <gasps> no. Oh. I was up all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out started thinking maybe it's one of our guys we aren't paying his fair share someone with a light wallet maybe looking to Morello for a new suit is he paranoid Frank wasn't around so I went to the safe to get the account books to see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned what do you know the books are gone Tom so it's Frank Frank <gasps> More than 50 years I've known him. Oh, no. Everything I have, I got with Frank. I did not expect that. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank hands those over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. Oh, shit. Why? Yeah, why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. But when you tried to drown? Yeah. Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. Oh my god. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. But grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shake down all our stories. See who knows what. And when you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Kill him? With his wife and kid there? I sincerely hope not. Frank, that's not what I expected. I thought he was like hazing us or something. The past two episodes. I didn't think he was a... I don't know. That's wild. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Okay. Oh, this is so pretty, though. How peaceful. Morello's wrapped up in all this. I just know it. Damn, he seems like strangely at peace, like calm before the storm. Last I saw Frank, there was no sign of this. We had a drink, yeah, he's just like, this is business. what happens, I guess. Not this. But it's gotta freaking break his heart, like... I am amazed that he's not more upset. Tommy. Hi. Hey, Vincenzo. Tough day today, Tom. We gotta keep a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got your clean set of wheels. And something special here. 
if you want it. Thank you. I don't want to shoot Frank. Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. The old ways work. Death's pawn shop, okay. I didn't see this coming now from Frank. I know, this is... Ah, uh, he was one of the... Like, I feel like this could really break their... Their gang. And now for the latest news. The Navy is today continuing its search for the remains of those brave souls lost aboard the airship USS Akron. The Akron was destroyed in a violent thunderstorm off a New Jersey coast Tuesday morning with the loss of 73 of 76 aboard. The disaster stands as the worst aviation accident this green car. on record. Yesterday, one of the survivors, Lieutenant Commander Herbert B. Wiley, spoke to members of the press and gave a brief account of the tragedy. He also spoke of the survivors' rescue by the German tanker, Phoebus. President Roosevelt has described the loss of the Akron as a national disaster and said that he grieves with the wives and families of those lost and the nation. We will bring you more on the disaster and the Navy's search as we receive it. Thank you for listening. We return now to our scheduled programming. You're listening to WBDS, playing some of today's favorite music and casting a spotlight on a few of the new items available down here. At Shush. Liquor prohibited. The vibes are nice though. <gasps> Sleeping. I got scared. Uh oh. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. <laughs> what's it worth to you? 20 bucks. How about 40? All right, spill. The FBI is in town. They're getting something from Morello, but I, I don't know what. Oh. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the Black Cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff, so he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. So why would... What does that have to do with Frank, though? Find little Always Tony. A pleasure, Tommy. as we await the start of the big game. Our very own lost heaven lancers are out on the road, deep in enemy territory as they take on bitter rivals, the Empire Bay Cannons. This year's gold series is shaping up to be one of the best on record, with both teams matching one another blow for blow. Despite the Cannons' home field advantage and an early lead in the series, the lancers have bounced back and have really taken their rivals to task. Many of the plaudits and column hinges have been dedicated to one man. Lancers pitcher Bunny Smith is one of this year's standout performers. And with this series tied at three, I remember three, driving he may well be so carefully before, and now I don't give a crap. But doing so will be no easy task, as standing in his way is opposition captain Foghorn, Jack Seidel. His solo home run at the bottom of the fifth inning of King Five turned events in favor of the Empire of Eighteen. That's cool how it kind of loses service in the tunnel. I like details like that. Can Bunny Smith bring it home for Lost Heaven? Or will the Cannon's towering redhead have the final say? WLH 570 Lost Heaven Radio will carry live coverage of the final game of the Gold Series, and we hope you'll join us in wishing our boys well. And now, back to some of the latest musical numbers. Come on. Oh, it's right here. I went too far. My bad. Little Tommy. I mean, Tony. <laughs> Everything 
okay, Tom. Go get him, boys. The Lancers, we were just hearing about them. Sports. Nah. Nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home who's with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Oak Hill, corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. Let on that Councilor Gilatis brokered some kind of deal between Morello and the FBI. A deal? They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in to see Frank straight away. <gasps> he didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom. Shit. What's going on? Oh no. This is not good. Didn't I say last time I feel like there's gonna be a betrayal? Where am I going? We return now to the coverage of Game 7 of the Gold Series. And by the looks of it, ladies and gentlemen, we'll be underway any minute now. The crowd here in the armory are restless. You can almost taste the, the tension as we house. approach this. The deciding game between oh, these I have two to famous get to... rivals. More than a little bad blood between them and more than a couple of nasty flare-ups in recent years. Of course, this occasion more than any other could prove feisty. What with the drama that closed out the previous game. To get Vans, up. Of course, saw the Lancers win to tie the series. And it's not often Empire Bay and Lost Heaven can boast the game's best current hitter and pitcher, respectively. I refer, of course, to Foghorn Seidel, a man mountain with a shock of red hair. And Lancer star, Bunny Smith. Speaking of Smith, he is jogging, I suppose you'd say, between his teammates, issuing last-minute orders. They seem responsive to whatever he's saying. He commands respect from his team, that is for sure. By goodness, there must be some nerves among some of the younger Lancers, Elms, Graveson, and Nicholson. Smith seemed to have pepped them up. That's good to see. That's what a good captain does. The cannons lineup is meandering Here over to the go. home team dugout. The Lancers are slowly taking up their position so we can't be too far away from the opening pitch here at the Arbor, the home of the Empire Bay Cannons. Stay with us for more. That's the one I can't listen to. Look at that view, though. California girls were unforgettable. Sorry, I don't know why that came to my mind. Oh, Frank, I can't believe you've done this. I'm speeding. I love how they stop when I drive in front of them. I can see how it'd be fun to do free ride, just ride around. Speed a little bit. I remember when I was a, a taxi driver once. Now I'm in the mafia. Here we go. Uh oh. like the place oh that's beautiful the game didn't trust me to park like that no did it glitch
What is this? Tail Frank and his escort. I think we just okay. So take me to those account books, Frank. I'm not gonna look that up because I don't want spoilers. And I think that they're just. And we return now to coverage what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven they just left. and the Empire. Now we're cannons. following them. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation; it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. Yeah. <laughs> we are coming to a close. Let me thank today's other sponsors: Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core yeah, with promising youngsters set around them. I refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, maybe they threatened say, him, or like maybe they I have dirt Lancers on him. Frankie Hodge prowling in front I didn't of the even dugout, think of that. Gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place or something or other. With the noise or of the crowd, something it's or other. For sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the gold series, which at one stage had appeared doomed, but they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. Be some kind of no meat happening. He doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series, nor does he appear to be carrying the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a something or moment. other. 6'2, 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here today, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. In for the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty's a big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Doherty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed on that ball. My goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language ah, tells shit. the tale. They've taken you to the airport for it. Oh, no. On his face. He winds up. And that's two. There was zip on that one. Good Lord. Seidel is barking something at Doherty, but we have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Hopefully Doherty Frank can just, like, get on the plane. And irate. then this I can get the books. Another strike and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the cannons will get all their men home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! Nice! He cracks an elated <laughs> smile. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. Lancers win the 1933 Gold Series! Yay, Lancers! Shush. No copyright strikes, please, and thank you. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. Can I park it like up here? On the grass? I don't think so. That's good. That's pretty hidden, huh? I don't know what a hidden location is, okay? I don't know where to park. Oh god, I have to do all this over again? Come on now.
Wait, why? They see me? Game. Park in a hidden location. Me. Parks on a rock. Okay, so... Here. Let's see. Christ. They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck. This ain't good. Oh, I see. with these glitches. What is happening? Find where Frank is being taken. Who are these people? The FBI? Out of safety, I'm going to... Exit. I'm gonna restart the game. Okay. I hope it's fixed. There's Lord, nothing else I can do. FBI. The guy just flashed a badge at me and forced me out. I don't know. Okay, I see. So how do I get in? Doing great. I'm doing great. I can go in that way, I think. Is that the is that the police officer that we said starts the game with we shut down airport informant and fbi escort leave safe house informant exchange and take taken to hangar five we get accounts book after informant handed over okay yeah, the plane they're gonna use is don morello's i'm sure of it Hello, sorry. what Hello. Hi. Are you okay with Panda Express? I'm yes. Okay. Bye. I'd love it. I'm hungry right now. Okay, I'll go get it. Thank you. I can go out that way. Let me. So I just need a car, right? Yes, I can go in here. I have to run? Oh, they just drove a little bit. So...
Okay. Shit. Tom. <gasps> Frank. The Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. What? Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken that better, but Morello finally came after me. It's okay. You can come out. His wife and kids? Kid? Oh, no. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over yet? I'm not so stupid, Don. They're safe. Morella was waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Told him to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, I don't want to kill Not right him. Now. Just get buckled in. Tommy and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, March. For Alice. No. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. I don't want to. I don't want to kill him. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask us for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired, Tommy. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. No. Please don't kill him, Tommy. Please, 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 please. God damn you, Frank. But is Tommy going to be okay? I feel like the Don's going to freak out. Oh, get the account books from the bank. What if it's not there? What if he was lying? Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety deposit boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Totally. Keeping out of trouble, I hope. <laughs> I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, uh, yes, Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide access. Please, follow me. Oh. What? He said it was supposed to be Morello's. I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared.
I got the books and covered my tracks. Okay. Salieri never asked any questions. Oh. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Oh. What are you burning? The car? The safe house? Oh goodness. Who are these? Don't tell me they're Morella's boys. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Oh. Sergio, when I just came by to pay respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> Loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm still looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Hey, ay ay. That was rough, but I'm glad he didn't end up killing him visiting rich people. Okay, so I think that's actually a good place for us to end today. I can't really handle more emotions because that was that was intense um but we'll do the next chapter very soon maybe tomorrow i'll complete it i'm still loving this game even though it's sad like i do understand where frank is coming from he wants he's tired he wants to leave this life behind i get it i would get pretty freaking tired as well and i'm just really grateful that our protagonist tommy Angelo was able to you know let him go and he's not really getting sucked into the mafia and he's he still is keeping his head I know we've killed a lot of people but to look at Frank who's just you know so tired and wants to get out and then also um Polly who's just like losing his damn mind I'm glad that our our protagonist up until now at least has stayed strong mentally and emotionally and you know is doing the best he can to keep his head afloat i am nervous for stuff to come i really thought he was gonna kill frank i thought he was gonna have to but i think that would have made us not trust tommy so i'm glad that frank got away i think it's super interesting that the bank person was like oh mr angelo he said it might be you um almost like he knew salieri was gonna ask tommy and tommy was gonna be the one to do it and that in that case like he would probably cover his tracks and let frank go like i think frank ex half expected tommy to let him go um and it's a sad goodbye but at least he got out and i hope that the same can be true for tommy you know, because we already know the game opens up and he's talking to a detective and we know shit hit the fan. And I just hope that there's a way out for him that doesn't involve the death of his loved ones. Um, yeah. And I, I expected there to be some kind of betrayal. So <sighs> at least it wasn't, you know, super awful. At least Sam's still there. Most of the gang's still there. So it'll be okay. Thank you so much for watching. Join the channel membership if you want early access to videos. Um, comment, like, sub. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy to be experiencing this with you. And I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye.